total detox, guys. Full time detox here going on. Mm -hmm. Green juice, total detox. So we've added some ginger, some lemon, orange, and also these ones here. I don't know how you call them, those. So now it's time for us to enjoy. Serious breakfast going on, Rocio here. Hey, 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 wazungu things. <laughs> hey, no, I want, even if I didn't want. You I want to try? I just want to try. No, 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 I want to make mine, Rosie. Or it's over. You can have one from here. Okay. So I have to fold it because I think the beauty is having two of them together like. And also we've done uh, some juices, organic juice, guys. This is Maro here. Good morning. Maro struggles with wazungu things, but I'll be doing okay. So, Rocio, what, what is this? If somebody may ask this one. That is sweet potato sweet. Sweet potato. Yes. And guys, I'm betting for a baby boy. The way this bell is coming. We are cooking porridge for the, with oats. Yes, like that. Mm -hmm. The other one also is trying to create oats. No, 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 you have to talk. just uh, turn it. Just, no, it will not pour. Yeah, just turn it because that's air. Yes, yeah, like that. Just like that. Okay, guys, time for me to test uh, things from Argentina. Very sweet. More than sweet potato. Because everything is from sweet potato. Very sweet. Imagine, guys, you can make those sweet potatoes in your house. We can make this. Exactly. Mm. Yes. Can you imagine? Yes. Guys, we are gonna go out and do some work. Rocio went to fix her nails, you know. So and me, I want to go do a small walk. So we're gonna go for a one hour walk with you guys outside here. Right, this is the beautiful Malde Plata. It's quite windy. So probably even I should wear two jackets and also wear two trousers, if possible even three. And you guys may say, oh Maro, but my trousers are quite light. So I'm wearing at least two. Actually, I have an idea. We can go get some money well, in an ATM. I don't have a lot of cash uh, with me. And the reason being is the maximum you can get here is $40 from an ATM and they take nearly $10 from me. They take $9 plus, you can imagine. Actually, $10. $10. And remember, they give you in a very bad exchange rate. So totally everything is just like, a... oh my God. So I have two trousers now. I think I'll add another one. And also I'll have to add another jacket because I don't want to feel any type of coldness when I go out. Hmm. This country is, this country is here. I don't know actually how to say it in the best way. Like, with all these extreme weathers, they're still able to build and and uh, make a better society more than maybe Africa, where we, for example, East Africa, we have best weather all year, all year round, guys. You can imagine that. 
all year round we have one of the best weathers in East Africa. And we're still poor. Actually, it's not like people are poor. No, it's not like the country is poor. It's people that are made poor by design. And then when a guy like me comes out to support uh, my people back home, the first thing they do is kick me in the st with the stones because they are used to be poor. You know, sometimes also you have to understand when people are very poor, for you to change their mind and they see a bigger picture, a, a bigger picture like this, the way people are building. This is just a regular city in, in Argentina. It's, it's not even like the biggest city in Argentina. It's just a city there. So people live, look, look apartments, beautiful. Look, look the lanes, beautiful. Some people are just used to staying in mud houses. And, and, and also I find that actually poverty is, I'm gonna wear three clothes. Now, let me see, there is a windbreaker here. Let me see if it's dry. So Rocio went to fix her hair. There is a windbreaker. Look how wind, look, look. Look, look, look at this. That is how it is outside. Huh? And imagine right now there's this barrier here. It is crazily windy. It's windy. I'm telling you, it's windy. And that wind is not the regular wind. Remember I told you about the trees? Oh my god, look at this beautiful car. Hey. It's windy, look, look how, how. Even I'm afraid that it may carry our bed sheets and throw it to the other side. Anyway, let me get a windbreak. Look how that wind is. So imagine walking for one hour in... Okay. I'm looking for another trouser. I need three at least. Rocio had uh, put... There is this one here. It's still wet. Still wet. I can't wait. It's, uh, uh, I like that because it's just this material of windbreaker. So what I'll do is I'll just go and put another soft, another soft light. Oh, I have this one. This one is quite good. It's heavy. This one is quite heavy. So I'll wear three trousers to go out. So extreme it's getting here. Three trousers for a simple reason. It's quite cold outside. Uh, then some of you guys watched uh, Rocio's live stream uh, where we were talking about culture shocks. Uh, and we were talking about just different culture shocks that we have, especially that right now we are here in uh, Latin America that me i am following not following um me i am uh, i'm adjusting to because for rocio i'm doing like this so that you know i'm wearing like two trousers so the problem has been the other trousers have refused to go down oh my god i have to put my hand and try to squeeze the other trousers Hmm. <laughs> Struggles, look where my hand is. Like, that's... So I'm trying to pull my other trousers to... To go down. They are stuck somewhere here. Huh? Because I don't want that part also to get... Okay. So at least that one leg is much better. We go to leg number two here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now my trousers are here. Yeah, actually. Oh, guys. The struggle is real. 
Look, uh, here there is hope of a trouser. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> I'm telling you, no joke. Yeah, you see, like that. Ah, now that is the perfect leg. So for this one, I'll have to pull. Then here is my trouser. You see, it's here. One of it. I think the other one. Oh, now they they have come all. So imagine, guys, all this. Is because outside there is crazy wind and I don't want to get any type of pneumonia or things like that. Huh? Uh, now I feel now I feel okay. <sighs> now I put on my boots and we go. Can you imagine guys? Even in my head I have like here I have three hoodies to cover me. Three. So, I think I'll have to buy gumboots. Oh my god, sorry, I messed up. I messed up some charger. And Rocio, I think Rocio is charging something. Your body center. Alright. So, one of the greatest culture shocks here in Argentina is that. Uh, like men still hug you and give you like a, a chin chin touch I demonstrated in Rocio's uh, live stream and that is one of the culture shock that personally I don't like but I'm sorry and I'm not like trying not to adjust no I'm just saying personally, personally, please don't take it uh, serious, you know. Maybe some Argentinians watch this video and they may like, okay, if you don't like, then go back to your home. No, that's, that's not what I say. It's just like, uh, it's a little uh, different for me, or a little bit strange because uh, like men hug and, and they give you a chin, like here, like, they don't do nah, but others actually do, but <sighs> now that's one of my uh, greatest challenge because here when people greet you, they have to do like some body contact. If you do a hand, people just take it away and and for ladies, ladies to men and ladies to ladies, they actually all of them do the chin. So, for me, it's a huge struggle, but I'm adjusting, and I'm, I'm hoping that I don't adjust to a point that when I go back to Africa, uh, I will, I hope I will not adjust going there, you know, because there are people, oh, you got to do, I'm cool, especially, Ah, okay, I'm fixing my shoes. We go out, guys. A calm walk in Argentina streets. And uh, also, I'll try to do more vlogs, okay? I'll try to go out and do more vlogs. But you have to understand, Osio is super pregnant. So most of the time, I tend to be close to her to ensure whatever she's doing or she's feeling. I'm able to support her emotionally or, you know? But Rocio has been very tough. And for those who don't know who Rocio is, maybe it's the first time to meet my channel. It's my wife. It's not formally done, but it will be. So let's go out. Let's go out. I'm gonna use the bathroom, then we go out. This lift here was actually very popular during the Soviet, Soviet Union times. And me as a traveler, the first time I encountered a lift like this, where, where you, open, you open the door first, you open the door, 
Then, oh my gosh. You open the door and you open this. So you have to close the outer door, close this, and then press wherever you're going, then it will lock. So if, the first time I encountered a lift like this, I was in Finland. First time ever, I was in Finland and I was staying in a very old building. And they had a lift like this. That's how I knew about something like this. So look, if you don't close that and then close this, the lift can't work. The entire lift is shut down. <laughs> oh, sorry, oh man, that could be cold. Hello, Mal del Plata. Very cold and windy, but I'm ready for you. Ready, 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 ready. So let's go. You know, also this bath, uh, this this week is Rocio's bath. Oh my god! Actually, this week is Rocio's birthday. If possible, I could easily go and uh, get Rocio a present. Huh. Now, what can I get Rocio? Huh. First is, I don't know if, if my card will work. So, I better first go get some money and then try to buy a gift for Rocio for her birthday. And you see, something like a gift sometimes, you just want to keep it until the day of the birthday. Look how it's looking like here. Hey, Bele, Ze, Ze, you have to do This town is very well built and uh, it has a vibe of richness, you know, like people with money and also people like like uh, nice spots, very well put together. And uh, one may ask, Marwa, would you prefer, look, they are selling this house, you see this house? here they are selling it's a very old house look at the doors for example super old it has dust like even the wood this one it gives you it gives me the old German you know so maybe someone may ask hey look the boys here hey so maybe someone may ask if I would prefer staying, for example, in Argentina or Kenya, for example. Argentina or Kenya, in this case. Uh, how? With all honesty, all honesty, there are things I admire in both countries. And there are also things I don't admire most in my country more than Argentina. So maybe I will explain. So So as I was explaining is if I would choose between Argentina and Kenya honestly honestly uh -huh, let me say Okay so let me give you advantages and disadvantages then later we would end up uh, deciding where actually i will choose and i'll first let me start with for example things i i like about kenya for example my home country number one is let me go to the other side because the the sun the sun is there this is more dark Hey, baby, hey, your body. Let me walk this side because it's much better. So, I'll say, for example, hola. Uh, things I like, for example, in Kenya, comparing life in Africa and life in Latin America, I'll also do that in this video. 
because maybe this can help someone who wants to move to foreign countries to understand better so let's first start with the actually continent and continent then from there we will go country by country and in this case we will be comparing Kenya and Argentina so first let's start with uh, Latin America I will tell you that it's not it's not like it's, Argentina is not my only Latin American country that I've visited I've visited countries like uh, uh, Colombia I've visited countries like Brazil I visited countries like uh, Mexico. I know they don't consider Mexico like Latin America, but they still speak Spanish, which kind of qualifies them to be Latin America. Even countries like Costa Rica, they're in Central America, but technically that's still Latin America because they speak the Latin language. You see? Look how this place is beautiful. Wow, guys. Very beautiful. Be que bonita. Que bonita, it's quite, eh? quite beautiful guys, look at that. Eh? So, there are things I admire in Latin America that we will be talking about. Number one, people are generally friendly, trust me. Me, I'm a black man, also in Latin America, in most Latin American countries, you'll always find also black people. Countries like Colombia, you'll always find black people. The only country I don't recommend that don't like really black people, in my own opinion, and this is personal opinion, or allegedly, should be, hola, should be a Dominican Republic. Because when I was there, they nearly killed me. True story. And uh, I have that video if you want to check. So, Apart from that is most of these other countries, they actually have black population, which also Dominican has, Dominican Republic has. You know, there is Dominica and there is Dominican Republic. Those are two countries, don't confuse. I'm talking about Dominican Republic. So, generally, because I've been to places like Panama, generally, Latin America has a very beautiful culture. I think Rosé is calling me. Yeah. Hey, babe. Yes. Very well. I just left the house like seven minutes ago. I'm doing a video. Yeah. Where are you? Okay. Oh, you're... Oh, you're downtown. Okay, let me go to Huemes and ask for uh, or Uber. Okay. So say. So. Yes. 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 Okay, okay then. I'm going that way. I'm going that way. All right. All right. So guys, uh, Rocio tells me she's downtown and she would love me to meet her there because we need to do some money exchange to pay the, to pay the workers uh, that are working on the house that we're building. So as I was explaining is generally guys, Latin America is uh, much better when it comes to friendliness. Uh, but I'll say actually that Latin America could be more dangerous than Africa itself. I'm telling you in terms of danger, because here people actually rob you with a gun. In Africa, it's rare scenarios. You find like people are robbing you with a gun. People can beat you or snatch you at night or during the day if you are in a big city like the way it happened to my, my wife Rocio but generally actually it's very hard that people will come and rob you here boys can stop by here and tell me give me everything that you have especially in Brazil they don't play around they don't play around so I'll say Africa uh, it's better in that scenario actually 
is more safe and remember also if you leave the big cities then it becomes even safer and safer uh, in terms of food uh, it depends the country you are but generally in most Latin American countries they have both foods uh, they, they have both cultures you know like black culture you can find like black people's food somewhere you can find like uh, latin when i talk about latin mostly uh, you know local like colombian uh, foods so i'll say i'll say they both kind of is a win-win for both you know a win-win for both there when it comes to food both continents have really great food but again, it depends on the country. For example, here in uh, Argentina, people are more, more like Italian vibe and things like that. So you can, uh, you can imagine, it's, it's not really like Colombia, for example, where you have soups of everything. Mandongo soup and I, you know? Okay. So we are going this way and uh, that's what's going on. So apart from that, uh, for example, continent to continent, uh, let's talk about like uh, opportunities. I'll still choose Latin America. Latin America has more like work opportunities, you know, like for example, a country like Brazil. It has its own problem, or even Argentina, it has its own problem with the, the economy. But generally, they are doing better. They are doing better. I think right now, Africa, some countries are doing even better than Latin America. For example, even South Africa. South Africa is highly developed. Way much, way more developed. Actually, South Africa, for example, can give Argentina a huge run for its money and when i say a huge run it means maybe when it can it, it can surpass argentina in terms of economy and the way it's built and things like that so it's quite different uh to a country for example say burundi okay so these guys are passing here because uh countries like kenya are really developing Hola. Hola. Muy bien. Countries like Kenya are still developing, but they cannot compete with Argentina. You see? This is just a local neighborhood I'm walking. Very nice. See, you see all this organization like streets, trees, lane, then right there. Yeah. It's nice, but there are places in Kenya which are actually very beautiful. But this is just a random neighborhood in a around one of the cities you know so i'm showing you how still africa is not matching up with latin america so what do i like the most about for example africa more than latin america number one is the weather we have a very beautiful and robust weather in africa amazing weather and also i'll say african people generally are more friendly than than other nations because other let's say latin america in this case because what happens is in latin america if people don't know you they actually can't talk to you it's not like in africa where there's a car passing here and straight on our police so it's it's different for example here if I don't know you, I don't say hello to you. But, uh, hola. Yes, a very beautiful police officer. Lady, they are all ladies. So, it's different, for example, here in uh, Latin America, where it's very hard to make friends. Because here is kind of more like Europe. You mind your business. Though, some Latin American countries are more friendlier than the rest here in Argentina I'll speak for myself is it's more cold it's not 
It's not like, whoa, whoa, amigo. Colombia is quite different. So Colombia is just like Kenya. Everybody wants to know where you are from, who you are, what you like to eat, or countries like Dominican Republic where I've been. Uh, they have, they, they are very open, very open, easy to talk to. And one thing I came to realize also is the more developed countries are, the more it's hard to make friendship, the more it's hard to trust people, the more people always uh, want their own space. So it's quite different. And the more poor a country is, the more friendly and friendlier they are. They want to welcome you to their homes. They want, hey, this is also being sold guys. Can you imagine? This beautiful house, home, is being sold. Hmm. You see, with money, you can live in a ni nice neighborhood like this here in Argentina. And, and uh, just something to add, is right now in Argentina, they have issues with the uh, money and things like that, the economy. So if you have some dollars, you can actually acquire a house here. I'll try to ask Rocio actually how much these houses cost and I'll let you know but every house here is being sold in terms of dollars they don't sell houses with the local currency wow look at that it's rare to see something like this and you can tell it's not like common you know so I'm supposed to go this way and meet Romina and Romina will help me get uh, an Uber to town. I hope I remember her shop. I don't, I don't really remember the shop that much where she works. So now let's come now down. Let's break it down. Argentina, Kenya, which is better in terms of living? I'll say like this, for example, a guy like me who is already established in Kenya, I have a house, I have a home, I have a huge piece of land where I can farm my own crops, I can even keep things like uh, horses which I have. For me, I feel like that's actually dream come true, you know, like that by itself is a dream come true. So I would prefer a place like that to a place maybe where you stay in an apartment and you work very hard so that is the difference I would say but if let's say I had nothing much going on okay. we are crossing I have no idea if it's Romina Street or not Let's say I had nothing, nothing. I don't know if it's Romina Street or not. Uh, amigo, este es Juemes? Sí. Okay, gracias. Para aquel lado. Para este lado. Gracias. So actually, that guy tells me this is Juemes. This should be the street where uh, I think Romina works. Somewhere there. Now I'm, I'm lost. But again, I can easily get. Even there's an ATM here. Let me go to an ATM, get some money. So, if I didn't have much going on in my village, I'll choose Argentina. Uh, because at least life is not so bad here. Uh, quite easy going. And it's not doing well economically, but still, you can tell. Uh, it's not that bad, even though the economy is bad. It's not that bad. I want to go to this ATM here. There's an ATM here. I get some cash. It's a bank. I think, guys, it's closed. So the ATMs are inside a bank. Let me just get a, an Uber from here and go downtown and meet Rocio. You know? So this is me chilling. And uh, just giving you differences between latin america and africa or in this case kenya and argentina if i was to choose guys i picked up my uber and 
now we are heading downtown. I'll be meeting uh, Rocio there. And just look, it's very beautiful. Look at that. And it reminds me of New York, you know. Quite amazing. And this is one thing I, I like about uh, Argentina. They tend to make things look very cute, even if, you know, just look at the lights and everything. Super nice. And now we're heading downtown. I'm gonna go meet Rocio. Guys, I just arrived with my blue jacket and Rocio could spot me a thousand miles away. She's here. Rocio! <laughs> you okay? Yes. So where are we going? I'm hey. following you. I really wanted to be alone today, but now you've spoiled my, my plan. How can you say that? Because I wanted to buy you a gift for your birthday. And you keep spoiling <laughs> everything. Uh, now what can I do? <laughs> Uh, I was saying, okay, maybe I go downtown and see what I can buy for Rocio, but then you call me. I swear I was saying like that. Like Again, that. I leave you alone, No, okay, I'll do it tomorrow. Today is when? Friday, today is Friday. Yeah, tomorrow I'll have to go to the ATM and try to see if I get the best. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh -huh. Actually, you know where is this place? No, it's where we used to stay, Rocio. It's there, there, where, where there is that goalkeeper. Goalkeeper? Yeah, where we took a picture of the goalkeeper guy over there. Okay. That's Main Street. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I think we should go this way up to the end and go up. Okay. How are you feeling? You fixed your nails? Yes. Hey. <laughs> Guys, guys, so, guys, I'm, I'm downtown, Rocio, help you carry something? Okay. You know, huh? today I wore like five jackets and also three trousers. Three? I swear, three trousers. I'm feeling very warm. Which is very nice. <laughs> Alright guys, this is us crossing the streets of Mal del Plata. My plans have failed. You know? <laughs> you yeah. shouldn't have told me. Ah, I should not have told you. No. Uh, gracias. I used to change money in a shop. Uh, there's a shop that uh, I used to change money. So probably we should go there and see. I uh, hope I hope I'll remember the shop because I used to it's been long since I did those businesses. Wow. Guys, we are downtown Mal del Plata, another beautiful day. We wanna take you around the streets to show you what to expect. Uh, I was telling people the major differences economically between, uh, for example, Latin America and Africa. Yeah. Uh, actually, you've traveled around Africa. Yeah. Uh, what do you think could be the major difference? Differences economically. Do you feel like people are more rich in Latin America or no. if you like you had a chance for example of educating someone what you know I'm so, following oh I remember this is that street I used to tell you it goes direct to the beach right yeah we go this way then we go that way where by the beach where, where no do no you no mommy remember where I used to stay that's where I need to get my bearing from there Yes. So it's this way, then we go that way. Where you say you, you came here to stay when you were uh, first time? Yes. Okay, so that's that way. It's that way. It's that way? Yes. It's one of the old ones. That oh, yes. Oh. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually very confused. Oh, ah, it's. 
the ones that uh, run here. Okay, okay. I think that yeah. shop is in this corner, Rocio. Yeah? Why it am I be, feeling? It could be because in this area there are many of those type of shops. Yeah. But I never use them, so I don't really know which one. Is. Okay. Oh, there's another. Yeah, it's this way, then we go down. For sure, we will get. Okay, this is the main avenue. Yeah, yeah, which runs down, right? Yeah. Okay. I remember there was a shop I used to change. Hotel Manila around there. Hotel Manila, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, what would you think so far? I was actually trying to compare Latin America, South America, and Africa in terms of uh, if today I'm given a chance, to, a place to stay, where would I stay? I feel like both places have advantages and disadvantages. What is your take? That one for sure. Um, the problem with Argentina is the inestability with the economy, but the rest of Latin America, not all these countries have the same problem. Yeah, like Brazil doesn't have. Brazil doesn't. Mexico doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice here also. Yeah, actually that one I'll say. Yeah. Apart from we live comfortable. So we should go down. Hotel Manila. And the next next corner. The next corner. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh what can I say? I always make emphasis on the food we still have like good food yeah latin america still yeah has good food like other places you know especially if you go to central america where it's very hot and they have amazing fruits yeah you know? yeah like costa rica you know yeah they grow there so that's a good thing Guys, uh, me, I'll say this. Uh, in terms of development, Latin America is highly developed. Because, for example, we don't have this type of buses. We do, but not as the way they operate here. Here is, they are very well organized. I don't know, that's why I used to stay, Rocio? No, on the other street. Yeah, because there's a shop and it looks like that shop. You know, the problem with the shops here, they look very similar. Yeah, yeah. They look very similar. They have, hey, look the pigeons. You know, guys, last night I dreamt about pigeons. Can you imagine? Like, I'm in Argentina and I'm dreaming about pigeons. I need to check on my pigeons in the village and get to know what's going on. Guys, we are just walking you through in the streets here. My video had a very different format, now it has abruptly changed. You should have told me. But it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. You know? It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm actually trying to remember that shop I used to change money. It's... I think somewhere there. That is Hotel Manila, right? And that's a shop right there, or it's a hotel. It's a, it's a hotel. I used to change money. Then maybe it's this hot. Maybe it's this. No, 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 no. I used to change money here. Every, I used to walk just like this, chubra, and change money. So we will see. There's. Uh, I'll check. If it's not that shop, we'll see right in Hotel Manila behind. It should be this shop here then. I don't know if there's an ATM downtown here, Rocio. Yeah, yeah. There is? Let's go, we see. Guys, uh, we are downtown. Hey, these guys don't look like they are guys, nice guys, you know? You can, you can tell. They hide their face. They hide their face and they walk looking down. That's a sign. Sometimes I wonder how life is very funny. Like I was in these streets last year alone. Now I'm here with Rosie. 
Now I'm here with Rocio. How are you going, Rocio, ma'am? Downtown Mau del Plat. Rocio likes to show. And then everything is screaming, buy me, buy me, even even for the baby. <laughs> buy me, buy me, 27,000. Uh, wow. There's uh, something called Black Baba Shop. Hey, hey, hey. Everything is screaming, buy me now. Buy me now. So guys, I was uh, trying to give you differences between Latin, Am Latin America or uh, the continent of South America and Africa. I think generally, one thing I like about, for example, here is, I think here you can actually change anytime you see pav Sorry guys, we're trying to change some cash, but it's very late, so that by itself creates a small problem so probably tomorrow we will uh, come earlier to see what we can find but also it's nice it's refreshing for us to walk in the evening like this in the city and see people and things like that you know because most of the time we are at Mr. Louis place yeah but today we we are here chilling chilling so it's not bad yeah, i hope Rose, i hope Rose, you have your things inside a jacket yeah wow guys please give the video a like this video was a different had a different plan now it will be called calm walk in the streets of mal del plat I've been uh, around Latin America, but Argentina is quite different. Argentina comes out as a country which is more, more developed. For example... Whoa, that is Argentina. For example... Huh? What do you see different? I would say like Argentina tends to be like, to have more qualities of Europe, you know? You can't compare, for example, Argentina and, for example, Mexico, for example. Uh, Argentina, you see how shops are and look, everything, this is called blood. So everything looks kind of nice, glasses, parking of the cars. You know, Argentina comes, you see, like very well uh, arranged and things like that. So Argentina comes out like with a European vibe, you know. It's not like you can you see for example here people are more creative and things like that so see on the other side i think we've been in this street before also yeah okay so that's what i'm trying to say argentina gives me european vibes you know more than uh, other latin american countries and also it's being very cold, it's, it's something different. In Colombia, for example, you don't see people wearing jackets like this. Only in the capital, Bogota, which is cold. But places like Cartagena, every day is a holiday. Wow. At this point, Rocio, you know I'm following you. Yeah. Or as always, I follow you at this point. <laughs> I had I had done seven minutes, but I've done at least fifteen minutes. So, guys, uh, this is us. Or or Rocio, you just take me. I go and buy you a gift, the one you want for your birthday. <laughs> just say I want this, and I I forget because I only have tomorrow. Otherwise. The birthday is here, you know? <laughs> okay. 
Let's see what's going on. Guys, we're in the streets of Mao. You have so many in mind, or you have no idea also. To be honest, I just wanted uh, to see if I can I can get you some clothes. Like that is what I know you like the most. But now I need an ATM first. But if we'll be able to. Hey, there are a lot of clothes. Hmm. Or, uh, what do you have in mind now? Now already it's not a secret anymore. <laughs> no, I didn't have anything in mind. Okay. Me, I actually I gifted myself. Hey, you already gifted yourself? Yes. Hey. Something I can wear on Sunday. Hey, imagine. Rosie already gifted herself. Take me yeah. now to. <laughs> okay, here I think. No, we will go to Romina. Romina, they sell ladies' clothes, right? Yeah, but Romina uh, is more for older, hey. older women. And this one here? This is very old woman. Ah, yeah. It's not for my age. Oh my god, Rosie. <laughs> Don't say that. What? Don't say that Romina's place is for older women. She'll feel bad. Eh? No, but Romina herself, she can tell you. They say more. They sell more. Uh, it's more like the youngest. Okay. Or what do you want, Rosie? What do I want? Yes. But it's good I have effective. You know when I have effective, just in case my card does not work, I'll be able. Or I take you for a date for your birthday. A good date. Hey, maybe this one, Rocio, is what you like. 119. That bad? No, I don't like that. Guys, Rocio has a taste. That's why I've never taken her to shop because she can she can shop 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 but she wants to buy then she comes out and says I didn't buy. <laughs> that is Rosie. <laughs> so sometimes me I say hey, let me just go chill. That's yeah. why I like to shop alone, you know? That's why today I came alone, I didn't tell you, okay, come with me. I say okay, I'm go me, I'm going. Yes. Because honestly, so for me, I don't have patience because yeah, yeah. all the time, if I want to shop something, me the moment I start talking with someone and I don't shop, I feel like I've wasted their time. Why did I just do this? You know. So. For me, when before I met you, I was heading that way to see uh, one shop. Let's just cross to the other street. Maldel, those are police officers, those two. Yeah. Rosio, why did you cross when it's not red yet? And we are pregnant, you can't walk fast. <laughs> yeah, Rosio doesn't. Ah, yeah, yeah. Rosio does not like when you tell her to walk faster. She feels like the baby is already coming out. I, I can't. I can't. Oh. Guys, we're in the city here today. You sure? Yeah, we can. Effective. Hey, a lot of people here, Rosio, believe in the Buddha. See, that's like Buddha. You like shoes or? or clothes, Rosie? I like both, 
but when it comes to shoes, I'm very, very like you really need to know me. Otherwise, hmm. be good. Be good. I just need to see. Get something. I just need to see the shoes you wear. Hey, Rocio's type. I see. Rocio's style. Effective or twenty percent off. Huh. Yeah, so we need to go and get money in the ATM. Otherwise. To be honest, I came from, you know, I went to the ATM machine that we got money yeah. and the door could not open. The door? Yeah. So it means it's, they close the bank or what happens? Uh, sometimes like you can get in if you have the car. Oh, the card like, of the bank. You use the card to open the door. Oh, the car? The card, yeah. What do you mean? Card or car? Card. Card. The card? The ATM card? Oh. The one that you use to open. <laughs> Oh, oh the... now I see. Wow. Streets of Argentina. Look here, Rocio. This looks like what you like to wear. wear. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm very, it's very funny that. Thank God I didn't buy you because I feel like I'm going to. Yeah, you. because all the stores that you select are the ones I would never come to buy. Oh my God. <laughs> Mara, how come? So, where are we going? Because at this point, I'm following you. Yeah, okay, follow me. Uh. Guys, give the video a like. Just a chill evening here in Mal del Plata, Argentina. And uh, mission failed to find Rocio. My, my deal was very different. Hmm? Even this one is, is bad, Rocio. Eh? No. Effective or trenta per cent. Let's keep moving. What gift for my birthday? For my wife's birthday, not my birthday. of going back to where you used to work and try to promote them hey this no. looks like your style oh there here you can easily find things i like like that one over there but it's like ah, the clothes you mean no yeah. not the clothes clothes no but they surely they sell nice surely oh like uh stones and things like oh wow oh, no. even the one you actually want no 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 that one no okay Esmeralda is quite special, it's not, it's not even cheap. I remember we asked last time. Guys, it's getting late. So, I'm trying to remember where can we get an ATM, maybe on the shop, on the mall. Okay, let's go see. Yeah. We have to wait. On the same mall that we went last time, right? Yes. That guy I think is parking. I think so. Now let's just go to the ATM, uh, to the mall. Uh, I feel like for sure we can get uh, we can get an ATM there. Africa or South America? Look how South America looks like. Clean. This is one thing uh, I really like about these societies. They actually take care of the environment. Like they mine. You know, for example, where I'm from, 
it's not like really the government is not doing so much but also there is a behavior of people not ready to just take care of the environment also that is a problem and uh, in that case we need like civic education you know to educate people we go in this street Guys, uh, please give the video a like, subscribe to I Am Marwa and Roca Brera Travels. It's evening time for us here and we're just exploring the city. Uh, this place looks like Mexico City. Can you imagine? It gives me a vibe. Yeah, it could be. Mexico City, right? City. Yeah, especially like Condensa area. Condensa. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's also that place that we took a picture where there's like Starbucks. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> How do we cross it? I didn't meet Romina because okay. time was running out okay. and also I forgot exactly where her shop was I forgot I thought it was like one block guys something funny here they do like black people's uh, like as an ad you see it's not the first time I'm seeing that probably it's because uh, being black you stand out so they use that and when you go to Africa, you'll see white people being advertised. So, so this mall, they don't allow filming. So I'll cut here, guys. It's right here. Guys, we're back in the street. We left the mall behind us. We didn't find what we are looking for. But that being said, is uh, this is how a chill evening walk looks like in Mal del Plata. Costa Azul. Hey, that bus comes here. Also. I've seen it pass uh, near our home there. Yeah. It says, every shop is like 50% off, 30% off. Is it because uh, it's, it's like a marketing strategy to make people go in? Because I'm seeing everywhere it's like 50% off. See guys, everybody has a jacket. A walking home. Yeah, today was sunny. Today was sunny, yeah. Today was a beautiful sunny day. Even me, I felt that for sure. But it was a little windy. Yes. I didn't meet Mr. Luis today. I already miss him. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully Mr. Lewis forgives me for not checking him out today, mm -hmm. you know. How safe is this city, Rocio? You've lived here like one out of ten. I would say it's pretty safe, mm -hmm. depending on where you move. So like where we are moving right now, downtown. No, it's safe, it's very safe. Actually, this guy is coming here. Just wait. Now it's red for them. So they're saying, uh, out of 10, how safe is this part of the city? I would say it's a, part, I would say it's a 8. Oh, wow. That's cool. Just because you have to be careful, like, maybe... Any other. Yeah, but there's not like someone coming straight to you to... Rob you. Rob you. No, not here. Oh, wow. Is it because there's a lot of police presence or uh, it's just a safe area? It has to be safe. That's a Volkswagen, guys, making a lot of noise. I thought it would be something else. 
evening walks, guys. Rocio's candy shop. <laughs> so, so if someone wants to open a business here, what would you recommend them to? Let's say somebody wants to move to Argentina and say, yeah, I want to go there and open my own business. I've seen they have really nice shops. Actually, they have really nice. I feel like the competition is very high. Especially with clothes. Everybody's just wearing. Everybody's just putting a very nice shop. Uh-huh. Uh yeah. Also, you forget. Because her mind is already taken with the shopping. <laughs> She's just saying, yeah, Hi, yeah, vamos. <laughs> <laughs> Me today, I was, uh, I was also in you the know, You want own. to go in? Yeah. I was also on my own today. You see, Banco Provincia, that one, they give you this coin. Oh, every um, bank is like trying to yeah, give its always. people a discount. The yeah. shoes you are wearing is that one, right, Osio? They are similar, but they are not the shoes I, I got. They this are one. They are actually imitations of these ones that I'm using. So can you still get the ones you are using here? Oh, they're mm, maybe in special shops. Oh, they, are... they have disappeared. No, they haven't disappeared, but you really need to find them like somewhere. In, um, I don't even know where I could get them here. You know they are a British brand. Oh. And I, I would say here are very expensive. They could be very expensive here. Wow. Yeah. What is one thing someone should know about Mal del Plata that you personally knows, but you know it's like a secret? Uh, I would say that uh, weather is very unpredictable. and something that we always see. Especially when I was like working on clothes stores, yeah. that maybe summer, you know, a lot of tourism in summer. Yes. And people just go out, see the set. the day is very sunny. They all go out just with a, like a summer clothes. Uh -huh. And in the afternoon, the the wind changes the side, mm -hmm. and it gets very cold and people are go, have to go and buy a jacket oh my god out of nowhere i think this is your shoes eh? this one no no you won't find in this type of stores you won't find okay the ones i'm wearing all right you will find imitations but not the ones i'm wearing Seventy thousand for a shoes guys and the atm only gives you forty thousand yeah 95,000. Actually, it's 140,000. Can you see that shoes over there? 140. Uh, Let's keep walking, go see. Maybe for now we buy Burundi. Where is Burundi? What? <laughs> Can you imagine there is a book called Burundi? Burundi. Oh. It's right there, guys. Yes. Burundi. That one. Uh. Uh, uh, people are selling Burundi out here. <laughs> Guys, we are exploring uh, the city. Most of the time, at time like this, we are always home, trying to see rails. But today, I just get a little bit of meat here. You want to buy meat? Yeah. Right now. Because I need to go home and cook. Right now to cook meat is gonna take long. We have we have lentils, we have all these things. It's not gonna take long. I know how to cook it faster. Whoa. Actually the faster you cook the meat. It takes normal time to cook. Alright. Guys, we are trying to find something. Oh, it's actually safe. So they don't close these shops even at night, or at night they will have to lower, right? Uh, they start closing from 8, 9, 9 is a... Uh, Look here, they sell Bodeja, how they sell. It's already smelling like meat. I'll turn off, guys, this. 
interessant. Ja. Ich viel Bad smell. Mm. Also, this is the shop we are. We want to buy some beef. Let's see how it goes. Guys, we are buying liver because uh, Rocio needs to eat more liver. Very important. Yeah. <laughs> There's, a guy. There's a guy over there. See? <laughs> He's selling us the liver. Uh -huh. Wow. So these are the butcheries in Argentina. These are the butcheries. Yes. No, as it's all How much? So you bought one kilo? One kg, one kg. So one kg of uh, this one. Picada. So what is that? Is grinded beef? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. So let's see the prices here. I'm gonna spend like six six thousand or something. Six thousand is like uh, six dollars. Yeah. Okay. Hey, para YouTube. YouTube. As the butcherman wants to send you greetings from Argentina. Mando un saludo a Lara, Lara para vecino. Un besito amor, te amo. Okay. So, so romantic. So he's, he's saying he's saying greetings to to her wife, saying okay. I love you. Oh wow, that's all uh, he wanted to send. Yeah. Can you imagine, guys? And tomorrow. <laughs> muy, muy romántico. ¿Cuánto te va? Okay. Actually, less than six dollars. Wow. Yeah. For sure, he will subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Mañana sal. Gracias. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. You count the money. Wow. He's very happy that he will appear and he sent greetings. This reminds me when I was a kid. You'd send greetings to. You'd send greetings to your loved one through a radio station. Rocio, where is Rocio? Oh. Okay. Let me help you carry, ma'am. Gracias, chicos. Gracias. Hey. That is the most friendly cameraman I've met. Come. <laughs> Not camera shy. So tomorrow he's gonna sally for you too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm telling you here. Yeah, thank you. So. He to send greetings to her wife. To his wife. Tell her she, uh, he loves her. Yeah. <laughs> you can also imagine like uh, uh, such a job, you know. It needs dedication because you mm -hmm. have to stay in one place the whole day. Yeah. So this is like a mini mall or what is it? Yes, yes. This is called Feria. We call this Feria. Feria. You can literally. You have a lot of different shops, mm -hmm. especially for daily, daily stuff. Okay. Feria. So, one kg of. Uh, okay. What's next? We go downtown and catch a Uber from there. Yeah. Or you still need to buy something? No, no, no. We have to go. So one kg of uh, what? What did? I got liver. Liver, beef liver. And, and grounded beef. One kg of grounded beef. I spent five thousand six hundred. Actually, so, really good prices. Like in our area, we would have spent double. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. So it's better to be coming downtown to buy. Yeah, downtown is cheaper than the area that we are. Wow. For sure. But this one they have good prices though because uh, even where my parents are. Yes. So I I go for a Uber. No, we can walk fast then we call our Uber. Okay. Let's go. Downtown Mal del Plata. Guys, one thing I'm noticing is just like any other part of the world is it depends where you're buying your stuff. 
if you buy them downtown they will be more cheaper and more affordable in this case but if if you buy them uh, uptown you know where the who's and who's live uh, they become more expensive also this is a feria no we call this galleria galleria also uh, has shops I thought, I thought galleria was more like where you you put pictures sell pictures and things like that hey it's a big shop you know guys on top here people live there those buildings you see up up people live there so below it's a shop but above you see Rosie, we are very soon to shop yeah we come and for, for shopping right yeah once we are moving in we're gonna be shopping so hey but i realize they sell a lot of clothes more clothes than anything else here downtown in, in this area yeah mm -hmm. So, how do these taxis work, Rosi? Uh, so they work. You see that when the light. It says libre. libre it means free. Unoccupied. From, yeah. Mm -hmm. From the moment that someone's occupied, it starts to count. To count like meters. Would you, would you recommend someone to use this taxi? It's the most expensive. Oh, the most expensive? Yeah, always the most more expensive. Wow. Guys, there's something I'm noticing here that if you buy stuff with cash, it's cheaper. Actually, sometimes it goes as cheap as 30%. But if you buy stuff with a card, because uh, the banks take the commissions, so it becomes quite expensive. So that being said is, anytime you plan to visit Argentina, you come with as much cash as you can. And especially in dollars. Because with dollars you can easily change dollar blue. I think you guys you saw when I was telling you about dollar blue. Oh, no. It's also good to walk at night like this to see how the city lights up, you know? Wow. You okay, Rosie? Sixty percent off. So the beginning. Oh, sixty percent. You've worked in a store before. Do you think sixty percent is actually true, or they are just saying that so that people can go and buy? Sometimes yes, especially when it's like the old. Let's uh, do one more. Old, old collections, you know. Uh huh. Uh, for example. This is a bikini store, so summer is it's coming. coming. Uh -huh. So they are trying to sell the old bikinis, so they can bring the new ones for the new season and uh, oh. adjust their prices. Oh. So they are trying to get rid mm -hmm. of the ones that they have from last year, so they they sell with these big discounts. Yeah, like this shop, everything is off of of Fetra. What's off? Oferta. Oferta. Oferta it's on sale. Oh. Yeah. Latin America, guys. I give you a small question. What do you think of uh, Latin America so far after watching, especially my videos? And in particular, what do you think of Argentina? I want you to drop your honest opinion, guys, in the comment section below. And also, if there's something you uh you personally want to see about latin america 
I would love to hear your uh, suggestions. So maybe some of you want to see the cost of living, some of you want to see something else, you know. Uh, I've shown you, for example, the house you are renting. It goes for uh, like 500 USD. So there's a lot of things going on. Especially when it comes to pricing in Argentina. Nowadays, yeah, nowadays people are preferring to actually have you paying dollars more than even the local currency. Especially if you're doing big businesses like buying or purchasing a house, things like that. People really prefer that you get to pay them in terms of USD. Or at least even if you're paying them in the local currency they will give you the price in USD and you convert I feel like this is also a store we should visit you see guys for here they sell all type of things in plastic oh yeah wow see this is a very good idea huh. all right you see anytime you can you decide to ask for uber I'm ready to go back to the to our mini villa. Okay. You're tired. You sit here. Yeah. Guys, we finally caught an Uber. We are heading home. It was a nice evening uh, stroll here in the city of Mal del Plata. Now let's go home and we see if we can cook some um, nice. I don't think if I'll eat, but I think Rocio really needs to eat because otherwise she's gonna get too weak. We need her to eat and eat and eat. This place of the burger they open. Why not? Guys, we are home. Guys, you see what happened? The wind became too strong. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's hit the chair down. The winds here don't play. They are quite strong. But I think it's... Oh, it's not really, really dry. But probably I'll, I'll put... I'll put part of it here. Part of it here, so this is kind of wet. So, wow. all right, we are back home, guys, <coughs> and I want to end my video in a few minutes. I want to say thank you, guys always for supporting us i i put it there it's it doesn't you touch it some, somewhere no it can't fly away if it didn't fly away when i was not around it can't go right now it will make a note or something no it's quite okay let me end my video from here so guys we bought the liver thank you for all the comments uh, that you guys uh leave in our videos we check some of them and thank you for the positive comments guys please let's stay positive i want to say we love you from the beautiful uh, mar del plata argentina and uh, from all, the bottom of our heart also we are very grateful you know as we wait uh, for the baby soon uh, we thank all of you that are here waiting with us Mm. That's for sure when she drinks something cold. You'll always hear. <sighs> yeah. What is this, Rosio? Moringa. Moringa. Guys, there's moringa here. Let me actually drink and hear and feel. Feel. I put lemon. 
It's actually good. Yeah, the smells are very difficult for me, but it's okay. Ah, this one I drink better. It's it's it kind of feels like mate also. It has a smell. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So there is moringa inside here. Yeah. You should be drinking this at least each day one full of this. That's a, yes, I'm exactly that's what I'm doing. A, a liter. I'm preparing one lit. A day. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.